Alright, this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 23. It says, Then said Yahweh Shah unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle right. than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Right, and what does that mean? You know, it's not talking about an actual needle that you sew with. It's talking about a castle. If you had a castle and you had the big gate, the entrance, but then you had a, something smaller called a needle gate. Now, if somebody had a camel, they couldn't go through that unless they took everything off the camel first. And even then, the camel couldn't fit through it. You see that? So what you have to do is, if, if somebody want to make it into a kingdom, he said, what, the, the way to the world is wide, it's to destruction, and to, the way into the kingdom is narrow. So they got to shut off the ways of this world, shut off all them riches, be willing to give that up, like, like he told Job to do, you know? And that's what he's saying, you got to be able to take all that load off and, and, the, and the, the bear it to carry your cross. All right, go ahead, brother. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Right. No man can serve two masters. There you go. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Right, where you at, 24? Come on. You can go to uh, six, uh, 19? Come on. Uh, 16, uh, 6 and 19? 6 and 19. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it's Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Yeah, all the way to 24. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt. Right, that's what the brother was reading earlier. Go ahead. And whereas thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, mm -hmm. where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Yep. <clears throat> All right, keep going. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, Right. Thy whole body shall be full of light. Right, so if you focus on your house shy, you know that beam, that light beam into you, it fills the whole room up with light. Mm. Alright, fill your whole body up with light. You become a vessel of, of that light. Go ahead. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Right, so if you got, if you got darkness in you, in your, on your mind, you're focusing on um, this world, you're focusing on your woman, you're focusing on anything that's of this world, darkness, or sin, or being in the world, being blind, then your whole body is going to be dark. Your whole, every, your whole being, all your actions going to represent darkness, destruction, sin, Esau's, uh, Esau's um, agenda. All right? Go ahead, brother. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Right, man. How great is that darkness? It's going to get greater and greater. I mean, it's going to be darker and darker. You know? If you're chasing after money. Go ahead, brother. Verse 24. No man can serve two masters, but either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Right, he man. cannot serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Mammon. Right, and Mammon means riches. So you can't serve Yahweh and riches, man. All right, so he's saying, God, we trust. But you got to call the dollar what it is, a debt note. It's a, it's a dollar. It's called a promissory debt note. You know, and overseas, whatever money they're using, man, the euro. You know, we got, we, got, we got brothers over there in Greece as well, dealing with the euro. You know, we got brothers in other places dealing with different currencies. So any type of riches, any type of money, you know, you're supposed to trust in the Lord's money, which is what? Wisdom. All right? I got you. So he said you can't serve God and mammon. You're supposed to serve your Yahweh Bashim Uh Go ahead, you got one? I got you. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, then you got one too? All right, All right this is the book of Judges. Chapter 10, verse 13. Yet ye have forsaken me, and sir of the gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Mm. Go ye, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Right, and our people have been chasing after other gods always since the Syrian captivity, man. You know? Way back then. Even in Egypt, our people were serving other gods. I'm about to see. Yeah, <laughs> way back then, yeah. <laughs> You know, our people always been serving uh, uh, idols ever since Nimrod. Go ahead, brother. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Right, and it's been written, it's been proven that the, these idols are just that. They're dumb idols, man. Mm -hmm. and, and just like the money, the money, what you say, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time? Come, come. I got a piece up. Yeah, you got a piece up? Come. Yeah, because this ain't going to save you. Come. It can be a defense to you, what, to pay off, to pay off the tax collector.
to pay off your your debts. But even then, uh, you gotta you gotta do uh, slavery Freaking to be able to pay that off, man. All right, go ahead. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 11, and I'm gonna start at verse verse four. It says, "Riches profit profited not no slack. Mm. Riches profited not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death." That's right, man. Uh, you wanna speak on it? No, you got it. Okay, you can. Um, the day of wrath. What's that? The day of judgment. So this money not gonna be able to deliver you from the Most High's judgment. The Lord is a spirit, and those that those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. All right. And uh. This is Esau. This is Esau stuff, man. All right, this is this is witchcraft. Huh. And they got what do you say? An annuit oceptus, which means new or crown with success. Huh. And then you have nuvo ordo seclorum, which means new world order. Huh. All right. And at the bottom it says 1776, and that's when they crowned it. That's when the Illuminati really kicked off. All right. And they, they set off their banking system. And you have the eagle, which the eagle spoken about in the Bible, uh, representing Esau. And you have in right, one right hand, you have the leaves. In the left hand, they have the arrows, which represent what? Uh, peace and war. You know? Peace and war. And if you look up here in the tight, in the corner, the, owl. the little yeah. owl. Yeah, everybody know that from middle school. Yeah. They got the little owl right there in the corner. You know, they crazy can't see that, though. That's like, wait, uh, you can see that? The I owl? can't even see it. Con. Damn, okay. Yeah, they got the little owl in the corner. And right here it says what? Legal tender. All debts. You see that? Uh, let's say all debts. This note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. You see that? So it's legal tender, meaning what? Contractual. Legal means contract. So it's contractual tender, which means money, for all debts, public, meaning, um, uh, uh, amongst the people and also private, meaning uh, 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 as a as a person or a living being, you know, a, a private creditor, like a, like uh, these people, they can use the money as well, and you can use the money too. You know what I'm saying? So you are actually a creditor. So um, where are we at? Anybody got something else? Mm. But oh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 27. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to that. It says, he that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. Huh. Plain and simple, when you are greedy of gain, you trouble your own house. You set yourself up for failure in this society huh. when you are greedy of gain. As these ones here are greedy of gain, and they trouble their own house. They don't understand that all this money... All this, this this fiat currency that they have stacked up is going to fail one day. Con, just like they say, uh, like it says in uh, Obadiah, if, if they had left a little bit of grapes, they just go back and um, pick it up, roughly paraphrasing. So this, this nature itself, all right, uh, the, the Edomite, especially the bank elite families, they just greedy by nature, man. All right, they want to gain, gain, gain. All right, they want to take all the substance, which is by the sword. Slacky. No, you got it. You got it. Hey, you got it. Con, and just like the brother speaking on, man, how Esau is greedy, man. That goes back to the uh, uh, Esau, his firstborn son, man, which his name is Eliphaz, man. It goes back to which means my God is the fine gold, all right? And going back to Job 9 and 24, that's why you got two-thirds of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, also confusing the face, all right? They're falling after the father of the devil, man. So that's why they chase after this money, man. That's why they go after this monetary system. All right, that's why they get it. Oh, I got to get to the money. I got to chase the money, man. All right, not giving thanks to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. They give thanks to their God, which is money, man. Right, they, right. they give thanks to Esau. They think Esau is God. <laughs> Come on. You know, uh, anything that Esau touches, they call it God. And what they say, uh, every man shall can pertain um, the pursuit of happiness. Con, Con, Come on, the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. Con, Con. Who was that, Jefferson? Uh, uh, I think it was. Jefferson. He said the pursuit of happiness. I think it was, it, was, it was that. It was. Hold on. Yeah, Dave Chappelle, when he was talking about it, and he said, "All men shall be created equal in pursuit of happiness." I think I was doing. Like, Get to work, nigga. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, he was saying the pursuit of happiness. So Esau can't help with the pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. He can't show you the way to happiness. 
The scriptures say wisdom gonna make you happy. The kingdom gonna make you happy. The Lord gonna wipe away every tear. Peace up. Go ahead, brother. Come on, this is uh, Sirach 29. Yep. Picking back up from verse 11 from earlier, all right? I don't want to get back to Acts after this. Go on. All right, it says, Lay up thy treasures according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Right, man, so, Ooh. yep, go ahead. Come on, it says, Shut up alms in thy storehouse, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. It shall fight for thee against thine enemies right. better than a mighty shield and strong spear. That's right, man. Because uh, he said what? Uh, what did it say? Um, deliver if not in the day of wrath. And then he said what? Um, you want me to go back to it? Yeah, let me get there real quick. This is Proverbs chapter 11, verse uh, 4. Mm -hmm. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. See that? Let me read that one again. Go on. This is Sirach chapter 29. And I'm going to start at verse 12. Mm -hmm. You want it from the top of the... Yeah, uh, the bottom part. Come on. It says, Shut up alms in thy storehouse, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. Right. Uh -huh. So so basically, you know, keeping this work, you know, keeping wisdom, doing the work, man, that's going. To, that's what's going to deliver you. Come on. All right? Not money. Money can't deliver you. You got knowledge and wisdom? The ability of that time? I get it. Yep. So uh, money can't deliver you. The gold can't save you. I get it. You know, they had to set up a banking system to de not only to deceive you, but you can't even carry gold. Like, like if, if Floyd Mayweather had all his money in gold and diamonds, he couldn't carry that shit around the world. You know, so how rich would he really be? You know, and even now, it's stolen. Like, if, you know, if something was to happen, them banks going to disappear, man. Mm -hmm. They're going to disappear with that money. <laughs> you know, and all the security guards, they coming for that money. They got family, too. Yeah. Okay. You know? I know you boxing, man, but hey, I'm Isaiah 33 and yeah. 6. He's going to be like Neo fighting all them damn people up trying to get that money. <laughs> it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Right, so wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability. That's what's going to keep you stable, not money. It's gonna be the, that's what's going to be the strength of your salvation to be delivered from what's coming here, man. Not money, not 401ks which is being robbed anyway. Not the stock market, not gold and silver, not Bitcoin. None of these things going to save you, man. The RFID chip damn sure ain't going to save you, but they're going to try to present it like it can save you. Let me get it. Yeah, yeah, let's get it. This is uh, Revelation chapter... Like Revelation chapter thir 13. I'm going to start at verse... Get straight to the point. Yeah. Uh, chapter uh, 13, verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great... Rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Right, so who is that? That's talking about all around the world. One of these nations, talking about Esau, ultimately, but America is, is going to cause all these nations through the IMF to receive a mark. All right, and they already got the system in place. However it happens, they're going to cause everybody to receive that damn RFID chip. And the only ones that's not going to get it is the hopeful elect. All right? So to, to receive means to accept it, huh? So that's the chip one right there. I thought this was it. Uh, say, bro. Verse uh, 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark right. or the... It's like it. Now you cool. So I don't care if you got Bitcoin. All right? I don't, care, I don't care how much Bitcoin you got. I don't care how much money you got. You ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you have... What? Go ahead, brother. It says... Uh, Verse 17, that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Right. So this is what they're talking about. You're not gonna, if you don't have all of this in that day, that's going to be the new world order. I mean, it's going to be around the world. It's going to be a new order set in place. And you ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you got that shit. You know, so you, be, you better know um, the gods you serve. And, just, and choose your side, man. You know, and no real riches. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. He says, he says, uh, he says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first. Come. All these things should be added up to you. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is Haggai chapter 1, verse 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Right. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Right, so that's talking about who? Two thirds of our people. They eat all this food, they eat the pork. They had how many damn festivals since America started? And, 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 and holidays and, and, and uh, 
eat uh, barbecues and shit. Uh, Eating pork over and over again, man. Just shitting that mess out. Okay. Killing their damn stuff. Drinking all the juice they can fucking drink. Kool-Aid. Soda. You know, drinking all the liquor and wine they can drink. But they still, water they can drink, but they still thirsty. You got purified water, double purified water, extra you. Uh, distilled water. They got all kind of stuff, but they still thirsty. Hello. Why? How you doing? He said, what? The scriptures say if you drink of this water, you shall thirst no more. They still not clean. All right, go ahead, brother. It says, ye clothe you, but there is none warm. Right, they're clothed, but they're not comforted. All right, they, you can put on the damn goose down jacket. In the middle of the winter, you're still not going to be comforted the way the scriptures are comforting. All right? And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it in a bag. I got to bring a little more strong. All right. It says, he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. Right. So mm -hmm. if you earn wages, you put it into a bag with holes, man. So every time we go to work and you get a check, they take taxes out of that money and pay it to these guys. All right. These guys get paid. Off of your work, uh, off of your sweat equity, you know, off of your bank account, your birth certificate. So we pay taxes to the who? The fake Jews. Keep them going. <laughs> so you got a hole. Throw it out. You got a hole in the bag. So all the wages you saving up, so the devil creeping up right behind you, picking them up, picking up the coins. You know. So, like it says in the open diet with the grapes, if you have a little bit of grapes, and go back and um, um, gather it. Roughly paraphrasing. Yep. Come on. You got it? I got this. Real I got quick, a bucket shot. Real quick. And just like that, just like the elder just said, man, Esau like to take your taxes, man. You know what I'm saying? And pocket them. He got two thirds of the so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans greatly deceived, taking their, their taxes, paying for these food stamps and things like that and these benefits. <laughs> but really, Esau created money out of thin air, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? He He's the, the creator of these things. You You think. Your tax money is going towards that, and he's already printing up money and creating another thing now. That's bullcrap. You know, just like I, I, I quoted on the uh, lesson I did this week, Esau is the most humblest liar, man. Right. He'll tell you a <laughs> lie with a straight face, man. You, you know? Right. And, uh, and, and what do you say, uh, welfare? Son. Welfare and all these different, um, what do they call subsidies or mm -hmm. uh, ways to help everybody? Subsidies mm -hmm. and benefits. Benefits. And benefits. benefits. It, uh, any country that goes into doing those um, subsidies and benefits, that shows you that they're in the decline. You know, they start. They call rationing, and even what they what they giving everybody now, just cereal. Everything's cereal. Yeah, God. You know, like you gotta you gotta fight to get some vegetables and shit in your damn okay. fridge now. So all they pushing your face cereal. Even cereal started from the Great Depression. Huh. It started as a way for like um, the M, the uh, concentration camp people, mm -hmm. or the people that were suffering. They give them something called like like a, it was like an oatmeal, ground oatmeal, and they give them that like in rations. Like a porridge. It was like a porridge, but now oh. they then they, after a while they took it and sold it on the shelf, and, they, and now all these companies making money off of it. All right, so we're getting nothing but rations, man. You, you know you don't have your own cattle. You don't have a lot of a lot of us were not taught how to get our own houses. You know what I mean? Dealing with credit, so you don't you know what I mean? Go ahead, brother. So you don't have any true assets. Yeah. All right. You want to Um. You have one. You yeah, I was gonna back up. I was yeah. gonna back up the brothers yep. on um, how Esau and how he uh he deals in deceit, man, yeah. and, and witchcraft. All right. And, and our people follow this fool. And this is Psalms 36, verse three. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Yeah. He have left off to be wise mm -hmm. and to do good. He defies his mischief upon his bed. He set of himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred to do evil. Mm. You know, he 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 loves evil, man. He don't try to stay away okay. from it. All right, he, that's the that's the vibrations he put off upon the earth, and, and, and particularly for our people, man. Aimed at our people, man. You know, for uh for them ultimately to run down to Egypt, man, for help. Yep. Yep. That's right, man. Uh, good. Uh, just the back of the brothers Marzan and uh Atanyala down there. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 6. It says, The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. And the getting of, of these treasures is, by a lying tongue is a vanity. Mm -hmm. They have lied to the world. They have lied to our people. Our people think they're really getting their own money. But they're really, they own the money. These banking elites, they own the money. 
and our people, because they chase this stuff and they believe in this stuff, they're tossed to and fro like a doctrine of those that seek death. God, was it? All right, let me, let me All right. Mm -hmm. It's Obadiah chapter one, verse five. All right, to um uh back up the way uh the point that the bar was um, making earlier. It says, yeah. "If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not have some have left leave some grapes?" Now that's the thing. Esau has a mentality like, whatever he leave, if he if he if he if he's stealing from you, or whatever he's carrying on carrying out the door, if he drop it down, drop anything down on the floor, he gonna go put whatever he's carrying away and then come back and get whatever he left. Mm -hmm. Right? He'll leave you with nothing, man. That just shows the wickedness of him, man. Like the Grinch, not even the crumb, not even a, a big enough crumb for the rats to eat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is just the back of the brother Kanak about how Esau is a thief. This is Proverbs 21, verse 7. It says, The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them. God, and who is the wicked? The nation of Edom. All right, according to the scripture in Malachi, that they was going to be called the borderness of wickedness, the so-called Caucasians, man. It's because they refuse to do judgment, because they refuse to do righteously. So the fact that they have been robbing the world and the people, that's going to, that's going to, that's going to uh, bring them down and to uh, destroy them. God. This is Luke chapter 20, verse 21. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that, that, that thou sayest and teachest rightly, neither acceptest thou the persons of any, but, teach the, but teachest the way of Yahweh truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? But he he perceived that their craftiness and said unto them, Why tip ye me? Right, so today, is it lawful for us, us to pay taxes? Or on our side, yeah, you're going to work. You're going to get your daily bread. You know, so you working and gaining um, a wealth and gaining income on a daily basis, you know, that's what we pray for. Uh, Matthew 6 and, uh, Thank you. and 10. All right. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Yep. It's the prayer. Uh -huh. It says, Thou kingdom come, thou will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily, give us this day our daily bread. Right, and that's all we ask for is our daily bread twofold, meaning spiritually, right, to, for the Lord to rain down the spiritual manna from heaven and, and give us our food daily God. when we uh, uh, eat and break bread. And also we pray that the Lord blesses us daily with, with uh, blessings enough sufficient for that day, for the evils thereof, for the bad times that we're in, to, to, to defend us, for money to be able to pay your bills and stuff like that. All right? And one more? It says, it says, uh, uh, 20, 12. All right. Forgive, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Right. So the one we truly indebted to is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Uh, keep going. One more. It says, and lead us not in temptation, but... Right. To, so we pray that the Lord leads us not to that RFID chip. You see that? It's not a mistake that these things are happening. It's a judgment. So the Lord going to lead you to that God. if you're wicked. He's going to lead you to get that chip, man, so you can be destroyed because there's a judgment for it. So we pray that the Lord... And if, you, if you're able to pray to the Lord, He's the one that put that, His name in your mouth. Go ahead. It says, But deliver us from evil, for thou is the kingdom... And the power and the glory forever are mine. Right, and the power, right? So he's the true God and power. All right, uh, go ahead. And just like you said, just to back you up, Elder, real quick, uh -huh. you said that he's going to lead them into their temptation. Right. Just like we just read in the book of Judges, chapter um, 10, verse four, 13 on to 14. He said he's going to, um, you have to choose the gods that you have chose for yourself, man. So if you choose God, you know, gold, oil, and dollars, that's what he's going to hold you accountable to, man. You, that's what you're going to have to choose in that day. You know, if you don't get get it on this side, man. 